Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of Momoga Gyakusho Mathematics A 2015. And uh, number 2, we got the question about a circle that is circumscribed inside a triangle. Circle O is circumscribed around a triangle ABC and the radius is R and the angles of the angle triangle of angle CAB is A, angle ABC is B, and angle BCA is C. And first number 1, we just have to first draw uh, what is the kind of the diagram? So you can see the circle is circumscribed around a triangle. Okay, so let's say this is A, B, and C. So you can see that the angle CAB is A, right? And then the angle of ABC is B, and the angle of BCA is C. And what is the length of the arc AB? So this is the arc, the circular one here. Okay, the arc AB, arc BC, and arc BCA. And they say express using A, B, C, and R. So basically, uh, A is the angle, right? A, B, and C is the angle, and R is the radius of the circle here. So this is R, right, the radius. And for the value of the arc here, it's actually a simple formula that you know that this is the angle of A. Believe it or not, the angle in front of it is actually 2A. And this is 2B, and this is the angle 2C. Right? It's because that this angle has the foot of this point of A and B. And then the angle here is actually like the half of the center angle. Okay? And from there, you should know that in every circle, okay, just the value of the angle here is in radian, okay, and this is r. You can actually find that the length of this arc is actually theta r, okay. So using the same principle, we can find that the arc AB first. Arc AB is the angle 2C and r. So the angle AB, the length is 2C r. And then the arc A, uh, BC, BC is 2A and R, so 2A R. Just remember that formula. And then the angle AC, that would be arc AC, the angle is 2B and R, so 2B R. Okay, so that's the answer for number one. So the angle AB, the arc AB is 2C R, arc BC is 2A R, arc AC is 2B R. Okay. So this number one. Number two is that what is the area of the triangle ABC that is expressed by ABC and R? So basically, we just have to find this area of the triangle. Okay, and you can see that this triangle, we could actually divide into three different triangles. Okay, so the triangle A, the center of the circle, and B. Okay, so by that, we could actually separate it into this. So this is the angle to C, R, R. And then the another is the another part of the triangle, 2B, R, R. And then the down part, it is angle 2A, R, R. And you can see that we could use the, uh, the information here that is the formula that you can see that if a triangle, if it has an angle, okay, and it's the side beside this angle, this value of the area of the triangle is half AB sine theta. So using the same principle, the area of this is just half r squared sine 2c plus half r squared sine 2b plus half r squared sine 2a. Okay, and you can see from the question, it is you know uh, being factorized that way. So the answer is r squared over 2 of sine 2a plus sine 2b plus sine 2c. Okay, so that's the answer for number 2. And now for number three, if A is 75 degrees, B is 60 degrees, C is 45 degrees, and the radius is 1, what is the length of sides A, B, B, C, and C, A are calculated? So basically, we just have to use the this uh, separate triangle again, right? Because if uh, we use first is that 
you can see that this is the length of two C this is A B okay and then angle two B is A C and then angle this is B C right so to find this we just use the cosine law uh, cosine formula okay so we could use that that is a b squared equals r squared plus r squared minus 2 times r times r cosine 2 c and you can see that r is 1 so this is 2 cosine 2 c c is 45 cosine 2 c is cosine 90 which is 0 so this is 0 so a b is root 2 after get uh, a B we could actually find a C for example right so a C squared equals R squared plus R squared minus 2 times R times R cosine 2 B right and then we know that this is R is 1 so 2 minus 2 times cosine 120 which is uh, minus minus half right so a C squared is 3 and a C is the root of 3 okay and now for bc you can see that from this triangle bc squared equals r squared plus r squared minus 2 times r times r times cosine 2a and this is 2 cosine 2a cosine 150 because a is 75 so it's 2 times minus half root 3 so this is bc squared equals 2 plus root 3 so bc is root of 2 plus root 3 okay so that is the answer for number uh, 3 so that is everyone for part 2 of one more graphical show mathematics a 2015 and stay tuned for part 3